Golf. played in a while. I think the last time I picked up the sticks was over 10 years ago. I used to be really into it. In fact, there's probably a few viewers or subscribers who uh, 10, 11 years ago I actually golfed with. I used to be an avid golfer. Yeah, I, uh, I got bit hard by the bug. Spent a small fortune on that sport, clubs, travel, you know, the usual things you do when you really get into a sport. But it's been a while. Why do I bring that up? Well, I golfed two days ago. Uh, how'd I do? It was a best ball tournament, thank God. Um, just so you know, if you plan on giving up golf for, uh, for over a decade, it's not like riding a bike. <laughs> that swing does not come back instantaneously. You start playing these mind games. Like, uh, I'm sure I did it like this last time, but I don't remember hitting the top of the ball as often as I did. And it was it was a lot of fun. Has it rekindled my passion in golf? Um, no. However, <laughs> I did go on Facebook Marketplace and check out the price of used clubs. Uh, maybe more on that later. We'll see. The final vestiges of summer. Holding on tight. Hanging in there. Out for a ride. Well, I couldn't even 10 degrees warmer than what it should be at this time of the year. It is 28, something like that. 20 degrees warmer than last weekend. It was Baltic last weekend. Uh, I don't think it got above 10 degrees Celsius. And we considered putting the flannel sheets on the bed. But uh, fortunately, we held off. Looky, looky. What, what a difference a week makes. So uh, we're just uh, out stretching the legs for different reasons. We have not been riding too, too much. Uh, I took a day off on Wednesday. I golfed on Thursday. I was up here in the Gatineau Park for a little bit yesterday. Linda's had some stomach issues. I ate something that uh, didn't sit well with me and uh, haven't had a great week. That's all I want to say about that. You can turn that camera away. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. So no, I'm not uh, Maddie. <laughs> There's no details. <laughs> <laughs> we could share some poop stories, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Over 20 years of marriage, there's been some poop stories. <laughs> Maybe that's a uh, topic for another vlog. I hope he edits that out. <laughs> yeah, less said about that the better. Well, let's get riding. It's good to see you. It's been a while. The round of golf was in Montreal, so I had to pack up some things to take there. I remembered most things, except for deodorant. I had to stop and pick up some of that stuff because it was a business event. I didn't want to be the stinky guy in the foursome. You all know one of those guys. The other thing I forgot was bug spray. Oh, those Quebec mosquitoes. They like their pound of flesh. They like the Anglais blood. You don't really realize how many times you've been bitten till the next day or so. Savaged. I was savaged. <laughs> so that's my excuse for struggling today. Down a quart of blood. Thank you, Quebec mosquitoes. Merci beaucoup. Not that I want to make excuses, but I'm going to make excuses outside of the mosquitoes. So I don't have my clubs anymore. I actually had a set of ping irons and Cleveland woods, if that means anything to you. Pretty nice with a ping white tour bag. I sold it all. Uh, probably to buy a piece of cycling equipment, shoes, something along those lines. So, no clubs. Have to rent some clubs. Normally, if you go to a pretty decent golf course, they give you a set of demos with, I guess, the intention that you love them so much if they're working for you that you end up buying them or buy a new set. Not at this place. I think the rentals that they gave me, first of all, they were a smattering of women's clubs and men's clubs, steel shaft, Graphite shaft. 
you know, that kind of thing. But the quality was atrocious. Rusted. Dented. Chipped. It's like they dredged the water hazards for all the clubs that frustrated golfers had tossed into the lake and said, hey, you know what? Rentals. So I ended up using my, uh, my playing partner's clubs for most of it. So it wasn't the fact that I hadn't swung the sticks for over 10 years. It was the clubs. <laughs> sure. And um, you run into the strangest people sometimes when you're waiting for your wife. Handsome, good looking men. Good much, day, Matt. Oh, much like this guy. Steve. What a day. It's gorgeous, eh? Oh, great fall day. It's actually getting humid and it's hot. Getting hotter. Holy smokes. Hey, Devin. Hey. How are you? I'm good. So, how's your summer? It's been good. It's been pretty busy with work. That's not true, is it? Oh, I saw you were in San Diego or somewhere like that. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, one day in the, the beach and the sun. Yeah. And then it was three days of work. Oh, and sure. Uh, I can't believe people do work down there, though. I know, it's beautiful. With that kind of weather and, that, and the beach. It's yeah. insane. I was down there in March. It's beautiful. I was in Carlsbad, which is oh. up the coast. Like, it's, it's beautiful. that's beach. Yeah, that's, that's pure beach. That's surfer <laughs> territory up there. Yeah, everyone's yeah. got a surfboard on their car. Yeah. Tank tops. Well, beautiful day. Yeah, it's, I'm uh, just waiting on Linda. She, oh, she's back there. I wonder, I think some of the World Tour guys are up here. It's oh, yeah? Us, I don't know. It's so the uh, World Tour races Quebec City and Montreal. Yeah. Um, Tomorrow. Michael Matthews won yesterday. In, in Quebec City. In Quebec, yeah. And we'll see if Taddy and or... How's your riding coming along? Mike, Mike Woods it's, can... It's great. Plus, I'm, I'm took his bike. He's killing me today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. So last time you were on the vlog, you were about, I don't know, 12? What do you know? Is 32? Nine, 19. 19? 19. He's I don't want to admit you. it. He, he, he beat me up pink and he beat me up fortune today. Well, that's not hard. I tried to sprint at the end and he he left me behind. <laughs> yes. The youth. I'm on the gravel bike though. Oh, yeah. He's on he's on the road bike. These are Hempstead excuses, by the way. Just yes. So you know. I, I need them right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, upwards and onwards. It yeah. is. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Um, yeah, Devin, yeah. upwards and onwards, my friend. Have a good ride. Yeah. Always great to run into old friends, old cycling friends, and uh, watching their kids grow up with them. Uh, Devin there, I remember seeing him up in the park riding with Steve years ago. He just seemed like a preteen. Now he's a full-blown man. So uh, I'm happy that uh, Steve has uh, engendered his love of cycling. Steve's actually a very accomplished triathlete. So it's good that uh, Devin is following in his footsteps. So that's a wrap. Have a great week. We will regroup hopefully next week. No promises, but um, trying to get something planned that I can share with you next week. Take care.